when no one else believes in you. Once upon a time, a humble rice farmer named Takumi lived in a distant land. Takumi had a dream that his fellow villagers dismissed as folly. They would laugh, saying, Takumai, you are a rice farmer. Do not chase what cannot be achieved. Yet, Takumi wanted to become a potter, to create beautiful vessels from clay, not just for his village but for the entire country. He believed he could revolutionize the craft, merging functionality with artistry. Every evening, after tending to his fields, Takumi would sit under the cherry blossom tree, kneading and molding clay, crafting and refining his skills. One day, a traveling monk passed by his village. Observing Takumi under the tree, he approached him and asked, Takuma, why do you labor with the clay each night after toiling in the fields all day? Your village and your ancestors have been rice farmers. Why don't you rest? Takumi looked at the monk, his hands covered in mud, and replied, Every grain of rice I plant in the field grows into something that nourishes the body. I wish to craft clay that nourishes the soul. But Takumi, the monk gently said, You're a rice farmer. You cannot become a potter, for no one in this village believes that you can. Takumi smiled serenely at the monk. Whether they believe in me or not, it doesn't change the truth of what I feel in my heart. My dream isn't validated by their beliefs, but by my own conviction. But is it not disheartening? The monk pressed. Takumi nodded. At times, yes. But then, I remembered the first seed of rice I had ever planted. It was alone, in darkness, with no one to believe in its potential. Yet, it pushed through the soil, reached for the sun, and became a rice stalk, feeding many. Like that seed, I, too, can grow. So, I keep crafting. The monk, upon hearing Takumi's words, was left speechless. He watched as Takumi returned to his clay, hands moving with unwavering determination. Many years later, Takumi's pottery was renowned across the land for its exquisite beauty and embodied spirit. The pots and vases told the tale of a rice farmer who dared to dream and believed in himself when no one else did. And each piece of pottery was a reminder belief in oneself is the most potent fuel for one's dreams. And so, Takumi the potter became a Zen parable, teaching that it's not the crowd's belief that defines your path, but your own unshakable conviction. Like a seed, you carry within you the potential to reach the sun. When no one else believes in you, believe in yourself. That is where true growth begins. Dive into the enlightening world of Zen stories, where each tale beckons you to unravel deeper truths. Let curiosity guide you as you journey through tales illuminating the serene wisdom hidden within life's enigmas.